Hey, welcome to another week here at the Tolerant. We are working again on the drainage pipes. Um, I'm trying to finish the first floor and the basement. The one complication that I still have to figure out with the inspector sometime is um, in the basement on the main floor, um, we are actually too low to um, feed the water out to the city. So we are try I'm trying to figure out what we want to do there. Um, I really want to put a drain in the utility room where the wa hot water heater is going to be in the basement. So there should be a drain there and then potentially in the future we might have a bathroom in the uh, basement also. So I want to be ready for that. And so therefore I want to get that um, complication fixed, uh, fixed right now. And I will have the inspector probably come in a week um, and a half. I will try to get all of the initial um, water finished so that I can have a conversation with him and see um, kind of what plan he might have to get um, that water either lifted up or potentially connect to the city at a slightly different spot.
In case people are wondering uh, what I'm doing actually with the glue, um, we have a primer. It's purple. Um, really, it only is purple for the purpose so that you can see right away where you put already primer on it. Um, and then I'm using a uh, medium clear uh, PVC uh, cement. What this basically means is um, it's the viscosity, so how thick the and or how thin the um, the solution itself is, how much um, it um, basically runs. Um, obviously, there's also um, a strength uh, modification based on that um, and how it actually works is it the primer really softens up the PVC and then the clear PVC cement really is just um, helping to do a chemical reaction between the two PVC um, sides the two pipes and um, the cement here and it basically just chemically fuses the two PVC the PVC with the cement and the um, the other side, the other PVC side, and so it all melts together, and that's why if you uh, if you're using the solution and the uh, the primer first, um, the pipe is actually pretty uh, easy to put together because it actually is very um, it melts kind of, and therefore um, it just slips easily together. Um, when it, you do it in a dry solution, it's actually pretty hard to put those pieces together. But then when you slip it together with primer, it really softens it up. So the glue really just chemically uh, does a reaction, softens the PVC and then the cement holds it together until it all is dry.
So the reason why I'm not finishing this area here in the basement, which is the bathroom in the first floor, the half bath, um, I am not finishing this because I want to talk to the inspector of kind of how I can vent this toilet and then also um, the sink over here. So um, as soon as I have that conversation with the inspector, I will glue it all together but there's probably gonna be some couple changes here. So before I do that, um, I want to obviously know that I'm doing this right. And then the feed that goes over into the other room, I still have to finish because I still need to figure out exactly how we are connecting to the city. So that's the second question I want to talk to the inspector. What I really would like to do is, I would just like to continue this stack here that is coming down in the corner from the bathroom and go down into the floor because I would like to put a drain, uh, drainage pipe here um, in the utility room but um, unfortunately the water connection outside the drainage is too high for my basement here so I'm trying to have a conversation with the inspector to see what we can do there. Um, if there's somewhere else I could connect maybe with the city um, drainage pipes or if there's some, uh, um, some other solution that he would suggest. So uh, we'll figure that out. Uh, probably next week um, not not this one but the following week so I want to finish a few more things um, especially also with the hot and cold water so that he can look at all of that stuff too and give me some advice and then um, we hopefully can get this inspection the final inspection and afterwards scheduled soon in case you're wondering what I'm talking about the height difference here on the drainage pipes so right now my drainage pipes go out to the city right there um, unfortunately, um, if we follow this, um, you can see here it goes inside and it goes in right here in the building and then connect, uh, would connect over to my part over there, that uh, whole pipe that is sticking out over there. It's actually that damage pipe where I was standing. Um, so the problem is the height here of down to the floor is actually more than where this pipe goes into the floor over there. Um, so we have a height difference of about three, four feet. So we need to figure out exactly if there is another drop over in the city um, connection. So if this goes actually further down, right there, obviously it goes horizontally out to the road. But we can see if potentially there is another drop there. So we can just dig this out and lower this whole section. Or if we have to figure out where else we can connect. So we have all the connections uh, glued together in the attic, second floor and first floor. The only thing that we are missing here is a few spots in the basement, like I was describing already um, the final, final stretch and the last bathroom, but everything else is glued. So I'm pretty happy this is almost done. Um, the, the drainage, so that means I can get the hot and cold water connection finished so that I can actually maybe put in a temporary toilet or a temporary sink so that at least I have some hot and uh, or at least cold water. I probably won't connect the hot water yet because I'll need to have, ga have the gas connection hooked up there too. But then at least I have some running water um, when we need um, <clears throat> it for tiling or other things. I have some water. So that'd be great. Well, since I'm heading for a business trip uh, tomorrow morning, really early in the morning at four o'clock, um, in the morning I need to head to the airport to go to Denver, Colorado. Um, I need to be there for the majority of the week. So I really need to be done today even though we still have a few more hours of light. I actually just need to um, get some rest since um, it's an early start and we have a lot of meetings uh, planned. So I think I'm gonna be done for this week. We did a lot, we got actually the majority of the pipes all um, glued together. So from that perspective, I am happy uh, with the progress of the amount of hours that we had this week. So I'll see you guys next time I turn on the camera. Bye!